Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. We had some snow the day before yesterday, and it's been cold, but it's warming up now. It's 34 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1.1111111 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. What do you guys want? It's a nice day. What are you complaining for? Jeez, I guess everybody's inside. I guess it's the hay situation they're complaining about. The hay we've been feeding this year has made an amazing difference. The cows are at least a foot and a half, two foot taller. Look, they're above the rail. They've gotten so tall that we've had to crib the water tank up about two feet. The cattle's bedding pack is about 18 inches tall now. So as a refresher, we've been building this since December. It hasn't gotten all that tall. We're still bedding about once a week. And it's going to just make it, I think. I'll be cleaning out the barn and... I don't know, a month or less. Well, what happened? Everybody just freaked out. Titus cleared the feeder panels. I know you, you're the friendly one with the broken tag. You like to chew on my glove. This morning I'm gonna get started on building our new brooder area in this old pig pen. I don't want Hillary to be whacking herself on these gate hinges when she walks in, so I'm going to take them out. And this feeder's got to come out. It's hard to believe with the weather we've been having, but our first batch of broilers will be here in a little over two weeks, so I figured I should get cracking on this. After the first batch comes, it'll be every two weeks, all summer long, batches of broilers coming in. Firewood. Ah, that's still frozen. Oh, bummer. Since we have broiler chicks coming every two weeks all summer, usually they are in the brooder for two to three weeks before they go out to the pasture. So that means we need to run two alternating brooder boxes at once. So I'm going to put one box right here and one box over here. So chicks go in here at day two after they come in the mail. They stay in here till day 21. Second batch of chicks comes on day 14 and they stay in here till day 32, 20, 28, 35. Meanwhile, the third batch comes and goes in here and you can see how we're going box to box and taking them out to pasture. So these will be hot all summer long. Chicks in, chicks out. Oh, I gotta do some measuring in here. What do we got here? 44 inches by eight feet, 96. 44 by 96 inches. Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna have to move you. There we go. It's already up to six and two thirds degrees Celsius. <sighs> two thirds, that doesn't seem very metric to me, but it's more precise than saying 0.6666666666666. I've got a problem here. Right there. And probably right there. <laughs> Who built these? I built them. The problem was the guy that built the brewer house didn't build it square. Wait a second. I built that too. Square. Square, square, 47 on the nose. We ran our brooder boxes without lids for the first few years, and then one evening we left a board leaning up against one of the boxes, and the rats used that as a gangplank to their chicken buffet that night. After that we used lids. Snake walks into a bar and the bartender asks, how? on that seam. Let's see what we got at the farm lumber yard. Lots of fence posts. Oh, what am I looking for? 
Hmm. This will work right here. One just about done. It looks great. I yeah. think it'll work real nice. Yeah. It was more work than I thought. It's just a simple little box, but I had to do a lot of messing around. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. These jobs always are that way. Yeah. You take a lot. About time for afternoon chores, isn't it? Yes. Well, I got a couple things to do, and then I'll take care of mine. Okay. That's it for today, but at least I got one brooder box done. Locking, opens, both. I'll hang wires from the ceiling up here so that these can be held open. And then I'll have to take care of extending electric out to here and so we can hang brooder lamps. This height, two feet, seems to be nice because it allows for you to build up the bedding between cleanouts quite a bit and also it's high enough where during the cold weather you can hang the heat lamp on the lid and get it down inside and it still clears the chicks enough. A couple thoughts on building brooders. Number one is if you put chicks on any one piece of ground or even concrete for any period of time, coccidia is a big concern. Coccidia lives in the ground. The, the cyst can live for up to a year. It's a parasite that lives in the chicken's gut, lives in all animals' guts, but in the chicken's guts. A healthy chicken, it won't, um, they won't show symptoms because they can kind of deal with it. But a chick that's just getting off to a start, especially a Cornish cross chick, you'll see bloody poop. And uh, in the old brooder, we would see it around the end of week two. And so we would treat them with a coccidia stat Corid is what we used and treat them for five days and then they would be sort of large enough and strong enough where the coccidia could be held at bay by the chick itself. The reason I wanted to bleach out these bays and it was just too cold to clean and I'll have to do it afterwards is any lingering coccidia that's left over from whatever the pigs carried can be killed with bleach. and. The nice thing about having a concrete floor in a brooder is we can go through and sanitize it when we clean out the bedding and hopefully we won't have as many lingering problems with coccidia as we've had in the past. The other topic is rats and mice. If you have a farm, chances are you got some freeloaders, rats and mice, and they love grain. They're attracted to that more than anything else. Here in the pig barn, we used to have problems from time to time with the rat population because the pigs were mess eaters and they would leave grain on the floor. And Grain's really what they're after. We used to have problems in the in the winter chicken house with rats too because they would tunnel under and up mm. into the house. But since we put in the concrete floor and the steel walls in there, no rat problems out there. It's really about eliminating their access to the grain. That's what controls their population. Out here, we'll have metal trash cans to hold the, the
the chick feed in and they won't be able to get in here unless they chew through the plywood. I have not seen them try and chew through the plywood in the brooder house outside, so hopefully they won't try it in here. If we see any evidence of that, I can always line this with steel siding to keep them from getting in. When rats get out of hand here in the past, I've always used those little green bait blocks, just put them in a cookie sheet out in the aisle here, and the next morning the rats have hauled them all away into their tunnels, and that takes care of them. It's time to go up and see the cows. I'll bet they're starving by now. Howdy cows, how are you all doing? You were yelling, but now you're all quiet. Little grumble. As soon as I turned the camera off, they started yelling. Then when I turned it back on, they stopped again. You guys look emaciated. I don't know how you lasted this long. Alrighty, here we go. This is first cutting hay that I made last year. They seem to approve of it. Typically the cattle will eat in two shifts, uh, what I call alpha group gets their run of the feed when they want it and then the beta group comes in which is the younger calves and some of the older cows. They'll come in when the other guys aren't eating and the alpha group is Patty and Coco and Orden and Titus and a few other second year steers. Are you going to come and get a drink? I think you want something to eat, don't you? Well, you're gonna have to, well, maybe you'll get in there. Not for long. Oh, oh. Yeah, you might as well just wait an hour or so and then you'll get a spot. Oh, I am tired. Always this time of year when you first get out and start doing work outside in the spring. I don't know if it's the fresh air or just the physical activity. It's a good kind of tired. And I feel it every year until I kind of get into the swing of being outside. And of course, I never accomplish as much as I think I'm going to in a day. I thought I would get at least those two brooder boxes built. But, oh well, there's always tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.